Hey there guys, Uncanny Meerkat here, playing Stories Untold. Now this is a, an interesting game which involves playing four stories in four different retro style games. And as you play it, you find out that all the stories are somehow linked. And it is a whole sort of backstory and mystery to the whole thing. In fact, the game itself was made by a company called No Code. And the development team is led up by a chap named John McKellen, who actually works on Alien Isolation. So I would say he knows a thing or two about building suspense. I'm looking forward to seeing how this demo version, the first story in the game, plays out. So let's jump right in. Oh wow, I'm already feeling the, uh, the 80s vibes coming from this. Oh, this should be good. I'm feeling young again already. Oh wow, that takes me back to my days of having an Amstrad. <laughs> this loading screen stuff, wow. That noise you're hearing is the sound that the, com the computers used to make when you had to uh, load off a cassette player, which they've got here, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling nostalgic already. Okay, all oh, right, so it's a text adventure, this first story. Okay, enter house. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh. <laughs> wow, this is actually really bringing me back to the old, to the old days where uh, you weren't entirely sure what all the commands were. Um... Hmm. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home. Park the car. It's dark. There's a delicacy room. But you remember being told. Oh, to, to look in the glove box before going in. Oh, whoops. Maybe I should have read that properly. <laughs> Open. Glove box. Hooray! Right. Inside is a key. And a handwritten note from Dad. Okay. Uh, take key. Oh, okay. Read note. That's from your dad and reads. Hi oh, son, hope you're enjoying your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get the power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay. Let's continue. Exit car. Alright. Car door leave. Right, the house is grand, so that's perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door. Makes sense. And the yard stretches around the side of the house. Open door. Use key. <laughs> Hot clicks open. Okay, now we can open the door. You step in front side the front door. Right. You went to the house to the hallway, it's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the front to the door, however. Okay, um, use, switch, click, nothing, there's no power. The note should say how to restore it. <laughs> okay, um, leave. House. Okay. Oh. Read notes. Okay, let's try this again. So, I think we're all right. You need to fire up the generator around back to get the power and lights on. Okay. Right, so I need to walk around the back somehow. Walk. Two back. No, okay. Enter yard. Ah, sweet. That works. 
The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Ah, oh. empty yard. Okay, let's. No. Okay. Um. Use. Okay. Uh. I'm on the yard. Walks around the side, so... Walk. No. Use generator. Hmm. Search. No. Um, look at yard. Ah, there we go. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Hooray! Okay. Uh, use generator. Switch generator on. It works to life. Hooray! The house is still dark. Oh, I just need to turn the lights on. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Enter house. Use switch. Please let turn the lights on. Hooray! Okay, right. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Um, use stairs. No, okay. Enter stairs. Ah. <laughs> I always forgot how funny it is when you uh, have to type it like that. Um, right, the stairwell landing, there is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Aww. Um. Enter my bedroom. Let's see if that works. Hey, there we go. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. Oh, okay. Open box. Dad has found your old computer. Uh, okay. Futuro 218K plus 2. Been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Ah, some meta gaming going on here. You guys can see just here on the keyboard it says Futuro, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, that says 128K. So I'm playing on the on the computer I found in the game. Hmm. <laughs> oh, and I'm I'm playing this chapter in the get of the game in the game. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I've got a feeling my head is going to start to hurt by the end of this. Set up computer. Is it my imagination or is the screen of the, that TV flickering a bit more than it was at the beginning? Use game. It looks like a computer and press play. Oh. Hello. Oh, there's some major meta gaming going on here. Uh, okay. <laughs> the power's reset. And the game is reloading. Upside down. Is it upside down? No? Oh, it's saying get out, get out, get out. Okay, that's a little freaky. And things have changed. Okay. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to ch check the glove box before going in? You can't stand to be near this place. Oh, God, everything's gone so dark now. Um, okay, right. Uh, well, let's see what happens this time round. Let's see what the note says. Has it changed? Get out, 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 get out. Okay. Why do I get the feeling this thing's preparing for a massive jump scare? 
there is no love here. Um, let's see if I can get that generator back on. So let's uh, enter the yard. Through the debris, oh god. The grass is overgrown, the weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, hello. There's an old generator next to you. Okay, let's try the generator. Ooh! Okay, that's a little freaky. <laughs> Only a little power, but it's just enough to bring that lamp on. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. I'm loving this. Uh, okay, right, so... We've got power. Let's exit the yard. Get back to the house. Open door. Oh, hello. Have I just entered the house I'm already in? This is getting weird. Okay. The note burns in your hand. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I want to read it. Read note. Too dark. It feels weird. To, oh god. Oh, it's going to be made of skin or something, isn't it? Um. Oh, let's try that light switch. Um, use switch. Is it still there? There we go. Okay. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> this is actually a little freaky. Oh, God, and the alarm clock is flashing stop as well. Um, enter stairs. And I'm going to somehow go find myself, I think. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. Use alarm. Make it stop. No? Okay. Oh god, I've just noticed the photos. The eyes have been blacked out as well. Oh god. Um, turn off alarm. Huh. Oh my god, that actually worked. Someone else is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and living room adjacent to the stairs leading up. Note for oh god. Um, Oh, and the alarm has reset as well to the flashing nines. Okay. Um, let's go to the kitchen. Oh god, the kitchen stinks. Tabletops of rusted metal. Ugh, there's a carcass on the table. Oh god. Um, there's writing on the wall. The utility roof and door has a red X painted on it. Wonderful. Um... Oh god, this is being disgusting, but search carcass. I'm I'm actually rather glad it didn't understand that. Okay. Um Okay, let's exit the kitchen. Oh, she's wet. This is not a nice place. Oh god. Um let's see what happens if I read that note again. Oh, always oh, changing. Oh, Okay, um, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Lovely. Well, oh, thanks, Dad. Let's read the note again in the hallway, see if it's changed. It's, it, the note is bleeding. Lovely. Um, all right, let's try reading it in the kitchen this time. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words, there is nothing for you here. Okay. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to go upstairs. Head upstairs, they creak. Oh god, I can actually hear myself walking. Oh god, that is really freaky. Ugh. <laughs> uh, 
Um, okay, uh, answer phone. Should not be there. It's me! I need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever you consider the worst. Yeah, okay. Um, hang up. Relief. <laughs> yeah, okay. Same but different. Right. Valhani has access to your sister's 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 room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Their eyes have been scored out on all. Ah, right, yeah, like the ones on the desk here. Okay. Well, I'm getting a little nervous now, so I'm going to go to the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Of course it does. Uh, let's try my sister's 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 room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Um, okay, right. So I'm going to have to enter the room I'm somehow already in. Right. Oh, God. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Ah, right. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm guessing that's what the alarm clock is about. I can now input the code. Okay, let's try it. Nine, 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 nine. You know it's in the house somewhere. Oh, okay, I've got to go find it. Oh, so it's not going to be that easy. Okay, back downstairs. Wait, get in, get out. What if I leave the house? Um, exit. Okay, coward. <laughs> okay. Read note. This is what you wanted. Eh, I'm not sure about that. Enter yard. Uh, clutch note, nothing. Right, yeah. Read note. Oh, hello. Gibberish. Wonderful. Is it actually gibberish? Hmm. Writing on the wall. Oh god, uh, read. Writing. Blood. Oh god, okay, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Oh my god, it was there the whole time. Okay. <laughs> I was so desperate to get out of the room. Okay. That's it. Oh god, right, this is going to be the weird meta moments where I uh, enter through the door and somehow see myself. Use lock. 1986. Oh god, right. The lock clicks open. Enter my room. Oh god, what's going to happen now? The door is closed. Ugh, okay. Open door. Oh god. Um. I really wish I could actually look around. Okay. Enter my room. Enter my bedroom. A lone person sits on the computer screen. The lamp is on. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Uh, okay, this is actually quite freaky. Um, read notes. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but, you will, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. Oh, God. That's bleak. Um, there is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Okay. 
Um, end date. <laughs> okay, um, you are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. This is so weird. Um, it was all my fault. I don't believe you like you mean it, please. Um, let's do it in capitals. It was all my fault. Please don't kill me. It was all my fault. Oh god. Finally. Yeah. Okay, wow. Uh, that, <laughs> that was uh, surprisingly creepy, the whole thing. Um, okay, well, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I've been Uncanny Meerkat, and you've been watching the first story in Stories Untold. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.